thanks for hanging back out with us again uh we're gonna do a little bit of a tracer shed pouring so join us Hey everybody, what's going on? Glad people could be joining us. We are just going to pour some tracers real quick. I got to finish up an order and then uh, after that we'll just play around. How's everybody doing? I see we have two of you in there. Say hi, let us know you're here. How do you know I'm here? Let's put on a little background music while we wait, huh? Four of us. Tim, how you doing, buddy? In the shop, got you on TV. Awesome. We're pouring together. Glad to have you hanging out with us, buddy. Yeah. Got some tracers we're going to pour first. I got to do it, finish up this order. It's, uh, we got chartreuse tails. And, uh, what are you doing? Message you mean We got chartreuse tails and uh, our borealis or royal borealis. Look at this. Look at this. Come here. Can't check. Got you on my phone, huh? Yep. Look at that. Tim really got us up on his phone. Hi. Check it out. <laughs> Jamie, the new toy. That's awesome, bro. The new toy. What'd you get? Where did our lights? Where did our lights go? Why did it just get dark? That's weird. The screen just went dark. Oh no! It looks like it's. Oh, the thing came out again. Just sec, guys. Just sec. That darn charger came out again. Almost caused another catastrophe again. That thing slips out. All right, playing with the new toy. What's the new toy? Yeah, last that was last Saturday, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, last Saturday that happened to us too. That plug just ain't what it used to be, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Jamie, do you have any questions? Oh, air oh yeah, the air voice and stuff, yeah, nice. Yeah, those air bicycles would be pretty cool. Those would be pretty awesome. I don't know if I got room for her anymore. Stuff like that up here. We got a pretty small shop. Uh, it, I mean, it fit on the table. But, like, uh, like up here. But you need air, air bikes. You need air compressor. And then, uh... When I'm mixing and stuff right here, I got an air bicycle. 
Mm-hmm. It'd be awesome though, because then you don't have plants. They take bottom. You could I could put all those molds over there and not have like at once. Yeah, they're really cool. All right, let's get in the mixing down here on the bottom end. Belly side, we're using 8 bit baits Borealis. You can see that. We're going to squeeze that on one side. A dance will do us. A smidgen is the technical term. And then the other side is Royale. Royale with cheese. What else? Smidgen of that. And then one drop of dead on black, which always picks up any color. One drop, that's it all. Yeah, eight by dude, we're just in a spare room in my house, man. We don't, our shop's tiny. We're gonna stir, oh, you guys can't even see that. Look at that. There it is. All right. Let's stir this up. This has a charline tail, so we got that in the uh, vacuum chamber right now. Gotta do the tail real quick. Oh. A little bit overflow there. Get that out of our way for a moment till we get the colors ready. Hey Travis, what's up? We're doing a little bit of tracers today. Tonight. We're starting off with them. I gotta finish an order real quick, so I gotta get this done and then we can play around after that. This is uh, one of our popular colors. It's uh, Royale Borealis with a Charline tag. That's what we're doing. Oh, man. And we'll, this recipe is all 8 bit baits. Well, we always use Dead Plastics, Plastisol. 
So if it baits on the top end of it is um, the color called oops, Royale with cheese. Give it a second, it'll focus. Maybe. Royale with cheese. That's what's going on the top with one drop of black. And for the bottom is Borealis. Very awesome color. That goes on the bottom. And then just a short lime tail. We uh, already shot the tail here. I'm just leaving them in there till we need them. We're going to do some with tail, color tail, some without. How's everybody's Saturday night going? This color is an awesome color. We sell a lot of them at our shop. So, uh, uh, super simple recipe. You check out 8 Baits and get your own and make some up. Awesome color. Oh yeah, you did that backwards, huh? Yeah, that's my side. Alright. You always get so busy in the grass. Placing the tails in the molds right now. I'm doing one, I'll show you guys the other one when I'm in a minute. And remember, if you guys want, guys, check, make sure you guys go check out 8 bit baits. Oh, yeah, always do that. Well, I've tried them when we first started. That's how I found that But I'm never using the other one. No. Mm -hmm. I tried them before I knew they were from Michigan. They were there from Michigan until it said kick. Let me get this stirred up. Hey, Jane. Hey, Melissa said, I'm down. Good. Very good. Thank you, and I'm talking. I really like to talk about something. Bobby. All right, look, guys.
So I'm pulling the tails out. Just settling in. I'm not, I don't use oil or nothing. They, they lay in there pretty nice in this mold. Grab one and lay them in there. They find them pretty good. Doesn't take much effort, really. Some of these tail molds can be a pain, man, but these don't take long at all. Simple as that. You like that, Melissa? I just printed it up today. Where is it? Boop, boop. Yeah, I saw him make it. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Almost up to conversion. Ten of us in here. Everyone say hi, guys. run after a little bit we still got to put it in the vacuum chamber and stuff this camera's all crooked isn't it awesome Hey Brady, how's it going? Glad to have you here. Oh yeah, that's nice. You can see that color swirling in there. It's clear, but it's got like blues and greens and purple swirls through it. Beautiful color. We're going to put them in the vacuum chamber, make sure to get all the air bubbles out. Send it to her. Go to where is it? Right. Oops, where's my finger? Go right there. Check this out. Getting ready for our first run. Couple more minutes in the vacuum chamber and then we'll be ready to run. Anybody else pouring tonight? 
What do you guys up to? Besides Tim, I know he's busy. He's got the hookup going on there. While we're waiting on that, I'm going to heat up the char lime again for another run with the tails. And we're almost ready to shoot. Okay, here we go. Here's our top color. And then our beautiful bottom color. Pressure. And then mold two. Pull a little bit of pressure. Top off your molds. Always allow for shrinkage. You know how embarrassing shrinkage can be. And there's that round. We gotta let them cool for a minute. While that's cooling, we stir up the tails. Get this ready for the around the tails for the next round. Putting just one in there because we're shooting the tail real quick. Okay. Just a cycle. We did that. Now we're getting that next tail mold in the um, vacuum, and then uh, pull these ones up in a minute. They still feel kind of warm a little. We'll give them a, give them a minute longer. I'll show you guys how they look.
Here's your fans. Let's shoot that real quick. Here's another ten round. That doesn't take much at all to do that. Barely any pressure, barely any plastic. Head off to the side. Stir this next round up. Already done. No, we ain't already done. We just getting started, girl. All right, let's open these up. First round, and then we gotta leave them open because we gotta put the tails in. There. Oops. Very cool. Yeah. Coriolis screw on that bottom. Very cool. Very cool. We'll leave that open so we can put the tail in. Check out round next round here. Very cool. All right. So now, first thing we did, and we heard the microwave go off, so we're gonna give that another stir. See, just pull the tails. Just, I just lay them in there. No lube, nothing. Just lay them in there. You really don't take too long. Like I said, some of those tails really suck. This one's pretty cool. Amen. Nice and easy. This is why they cost a little bit more, too. This is a lot more work every single pet, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
virtual camera. No, it's kind of fan. Okay. Oh, I left the lava. Is it when you notice when you do those tail modes, there's a little nub on there, and you want that nub to stay on there? Let me show you. You see? Here. You see that little nub right there? You want that on there. You see, I ripped this one off. Oops. There. See, I ripped oops, this one off on accident. That nub, you really want it to stay on there. Because then when you bond the next plastic, it's going to rub or it's going to wrap around that. And it adds an extra layer to keep that tail on there real good. So don't make sure if you're doing the tail modes, those little nubs, make sure you leave those on there. They're on there for a reason. Sometimes a lot of people, new people, will pull them off not knowing. Temp. So we get these back into the vacuum chamber for the next round. Stir well. Now the molds got the tails in, so close them up. So these are getting ready. We'll be ready for that in just a minute. Almost there, we'll be ready for that. And uh, we'll be all done with that order, but I think I'm going to do another one without these chartreuse tails. And uh, um, just for a personal batch. So we'll do one more round of that. And then uh, after that, we can just play on here and do whatever you guys want. So anyone, there's seven of us in here. So anyone still hanging out? Man, you guys got ideas? Anything you want to see? Anything you want to talk about? I get questions all day long from bait makers, so if anybody has questions for me, uh, let me know. Good. Yeah, that was a good chance. Almost there, checking the vacuum chamber. Almost there. For this shot now. Okay, fishing in Minecraft is fun. Yeah. Cool. I'm trying to get uh, an ink sack. An ink sack, huh? I need an ink sack. Alright, here we go. Nice slow draw. Her jang and then take it in and give it a hold for a couple seconds. Pop it off. Where is it? There we go. Hold it for a couple seconds. Pop that one off too. All right, 
There's second round. Push them out of our way. Clean up all of this mess. We've been selling a ton of this color lately. Make sure your mold stay top down. Oh, we get a rocket. You guys ever do this? Get a little end stuck in there? Oh, this is fun. Watch this. This is fun. Bitch, <laughs> him not that bad, though. Huh? Whoa. Yeah. Nothing like a soft plastic rocket. We're gonna. Where'd I go? That's right. We're gonna do one more run of that without the chartreuse tails, like I said. And uh, then we'll be done with that color. And if you guys wanna see something else, let me know. Got eight of us in here. Speak up. Speak up, guys. Come on. Let's. We'll give them another minute pool before we pull them out. Since we got those tails, we we'll really want to give them a good time to pull them Tracer um, differs from the fork tail fluke a lot. Um, I think it's pretty like it, but the way the body style is made, it's got a skinnier body and a fatter top, or a skinnier belly and a fatter body on top. So um, that extra thickness on top really gives it a nice wobble back and forth, a tight wobble in the water, as opposed to like a jerk bait that's going to be a uh, fluke, would be just straight. And then as you're darting it, it's just going to dart and dart and dart. This will actually have a wobble in, in each dart. Good question, man. Dirty Dog, how you doing, man? Dirty Dog says hi, boys. He's with us almost every week. Right. appreciate it. No. No, I can't do it. I'm gonna bring that up in a minute. The ring is a couple minutes when I get here. As soon as I can. Almost ready for another round. We're shooting tracers. Um, who was that that answered my uh, that asked that question? I don't Bailey Tackle, I hope that answers your question. Let me know if, uh, if it doesn't. I can go further to it. All right, let's check this round out. This is our, we call it a Royale Boreal. That one's got a bubble. All made with 8-bit flakes, 8-bit bait powders. Very cool colors. Make sure you guys check them out. Here's the other one. 
Very cool. It's such a nice little subtle color on top, like a ghost. Look at that. That's a good one there. Very cool. Awesome color. Like I said, it's been pretty hot for us lately. We've been selling quite a lot of those, man. To be honest, I'm tired of doing them. Alright, so now we're going to get set up to do another set around, but without the uh, uh, chartreuse, the charline cat. For this one, we don't need to shoot another tail mower. We're just going to get this the colors into the uh, back and shoot it. Let's see what we got. Travis, what what do we have in a blue color? We have so many colors, man. We have wall to wall colors, really. We got this whole wall back here is all colors. We got all colors down here. We got uh different powder pigments up here. We got uh color shift pigments over here. Um some MF colors here. Uh, all that's dead on plastics. All this is alpha pigments. We got quite a lot of colors, man. And bluegill is really one of them colors that you can, uh, like, I mean, if you Google a bluegill, you'll find hundred different color patterns of a bluegill. Bluegill is one of them colors that you could pour a hundred bluegills and they all look a little bit different. If you want them realistic. Cleaning up the table a minute here. All right, here we go. We're gonna shoot around. Like I said, we're gonna shoot around now without the shoreline tails. All right. Uh, hold a little bit of pressure. Pop it off. I think that's the last round we're going to get out of those ones. Pop the molds off a little bit. Yeah. That's good. Get some good fish. Here's a good example of what we're doing here. I got bone. And I caught a bone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bone. I caught nothing. I've also found a little salmon. Yeah? Yeah, I got five salmon. I think, 
Top these ones off real quick. Those may, they do shrink up a little bit. Sit there for a minute. Ugh. Camera's a little crazy, huh? Alright, so let's see a good recipe. A bluegill recipe? Another one? We do bluegill recipes all the time in life. Um I got an idea. If you guys are down for it. Um what one was it? There's a couple new uh, 8 bit baits I haven't tried yet. I want there. I have to open them and try them out. So I was going to pour, um, pour them up, check them out. You guys uh, down for that? Uh, let me see. It was. This camera. Give it a second. It's coming. Triton in the uh, siren scales and for the color was uh, a thread fin a thread fin but we're gonna do it there it is we're gonna do it in uh, two different ways in uh, one oh, there we go. come on there we go Okay, so we're going to do it in two different ways. So um, on the top, we're going to add a couple drops of black to it. And then on the bottom, we're going to leave it clear without adding no black to it. So it's going to be the same pigment. We're going to use that thread print on both sides, but only add a, a base color of that on black on one side, on the top side, which will uh, obviously enhance that side. And the other side will still remain clear. And then on the clear side, the belly side, we're going to put some Triton. Some Triton Siren Scales in there. This is something I've been wanting to try, so let's check it out. If everyone's cool with that, well, let's, we'll pour up some still. Let me uh, clear this last batch of those last ones we did that didn't have... A uh, shower tail. Very cool, very cool. Nice subtle color. It's got just a hint of a purplish on top. And then that Borealis belly, man. That really shines in the sun. If you guys have been watching, you know our lighting in here sucks. So we'll do one more uh, recipe real quick and check it out and see where we're at with time after that one. Does that sound like a cool recipe, guys? Let me know what you think. Got no one seen yet. Here's the other one. Hey. All right, give me one minute to hang these ones up. All righty, so. So, we need some cups. Clean this cup out. Uh, 
And then I gotta go uh, fill these cups up real quick. And I'm sure while I'm gone, you guys will be entertained by one of them. So I'll be right back. I gotta fill these up real quick. Comments coming in? Yeah, dog, dog Jim said, what's up? I'll say what's up. Uh, the sky is up. Okay. Say what's good. up, good dog. Good. Oh, say it. What's up, dog? Oh, my God. Dog. Come on. It's just a person talking, man. Say what's up. What's up? Like, Aaron, how's it going, man? The boys design colors a lot. They come up with color designs all the time. Uh, I don't know for if anyone's seen this, what we're doing. Uh, down here. We got... I'm going to try out some new 8-bit baits. So on one side, we're going to put a thread fin on the top and the bottom, both sides. And then Triton... Triton uh, siren scales on the bowie. Now on the top side that has the thread fin, we're going to put a black base. But on the belly side, we're going to leave clear. So it's going to be the same bait pigment used two different ways. And then added some siren scales to it. So let's get her going. And I'm going to put this right in the cold this is new so I gotta be careful trying to open this thing oh that one came out nice all right so what do we got here we got a 16th teaspoon in one cup so we're gonna put a nice helping in both sides nice dash on both sides Okay, that's thread fin, and then the Triton some siren scales. Here. Just on the belly side, we'll do a couple dashes since we're using the same pinch. Huh. Those things go all over, man. And then on this side, reach over here, and we're going to, whoops, that's not very even the right color. Let's reach over here again and grab the right one. We got dead on black. We're going to put just probably, maybe, we'll do three drops. Three drops, and we'll work from there.
Oh yeah. That'll be fun. The colors are awesome. All those colors from Alien Bates are awesome. Yep, yeah, um just one second here. Yes, we have, and I do that quite a lot. Um, a lot of times, like for our perch color, um, we use um, we got the B spin perch that is on our website, and uh, we use the B spin powder, and then we'll add that to dead on melons, and that adds a really cool contrast too. You don't have to just use a black; you can put those colors in any base you want. It really enhances the effects of any color you put it in. It's 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 awesome i love it i add it i love adding that just that little bit of enhancement to your baits you know but you get you don't have to use black as your base you can put any color base you want another great question all right we're getting these ones up to temp so it's going to be a few minutes while those climb up to conversion temp I think this is going to be a really cool color, guys. I want, wanted to try this. I got quite a few 8-bit uh, baits powders that we haven't even opened yet. So I'm slowly going through them. And they're all amazing. We only buy dead on plastic saw, but we get colors from everywhere. Check out our other affiliates too, Alpha Pigments. They got some intense colors there. Always heat your plastic saw up, small amount. Do a little bit at a time. Thirteen people, perfect number for us. And remember, we're doing the paid subscriber thing. So, if any of you are interested in that, uh, be a paid member. Um, you can subscribe to that. And then once we get, we got three guys on there now. Once we get five, we'll be doing members only giveaways. And I'm guaranteeing that everybody who's a paying member will get something, you know. Um, well, so you're, you'll at least get a pack of baits for it. a month, you know. So either way, it's going to be a fun time. We'll be doing all kinds of stuff that are members only stuff. But we'll still be doing this too. But if you want to, just down there at the bottom, wherever it is, uh, it's a uh, subscribe. I think it's in the subscribe thing. But... It's different than the give thanks thing. It's a subscribe when you're a member only. Then we'll do member only give. Well, we got three guys in there right now, so it's gonna be a fun time. And you guarantee, I promise you guys will get something for being a member. But either way, we'll always post some free videos of everything we do. Almost done waiting on microwaves. Always takes a lot longer. Being on microwave. Yeah. It is. The majority of it is waiting around. Microwaves are back in chamber. Oh, it's getting close now, guys. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it gets closer to the convert. Gets to the conversion time. He wants that quarter on those. Very cool. It's amazing that these are both these cups are the same pigment. The only thing is, 
is the base color. You don't have to use them with a base color at all. That's what shows this bait's going to show. If one side has no base color, one side has base color. Once we're there, we'll show it because it's going to look pretty cool. It's already starting to turn pretty neat. We're almost there. We're at one hour, the one hour mark. Just past the one hour mark. Thank you everybody for hanging out that long. Almost getting there. Anybody been doing pouring anything? What's been going on in your guys' life? What's been up? My boys just started spring break this week, and then we get a snow blizzard. First day of spring break. Yeah. I know, their school, I think anywhere in the state is doing their spring break next week. But my kids are doing it this week. Or the, or the following week after them. My kids are doing it next week. Everybody else is doing it the week after Easter. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't know why they do it so early. It's still cold, man. It's snowing outside our house right now. It's crazy. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let me dim this down here. Okay, so look. Oh, let me stir this up. Let me get them out. Now it's ready. I think it may need another minute. Almost there, huh? All right, now look at this. Same pigment. It's just this side here has two drops. This side here is clear. And if you, I don't know if you can see the flake in there, but it also has that siren scales in there. We're going to throw this in the bike one more time, though, and then we're going to vacuum chamber it. But a lot of times, those color shift powers, that's all it takes is some kind of base. And it doesn't have to be black. You can put any kind of base you want. It'll kick it, it'll kick that color right off. It makes, just makes, enhances any kind of color. Why does it keep flushing up? It enhances any kind of color. Blurring up, going out of focus. We're doing one more time in the mic and then one more no in the vacuum chamber and then we're gonna blast it and see how it looks. Almost there, almost, almost. Pull it down there too, Jim. Your dog. Yeah, it's been freezing up here, man. It's snowing and windy and it's crazy. Last week it went weird, it was 70 degrees, but we were in shorts. Yeah. Nuts. All right, here we go. We are ready to get these in the bag. They're plenty hot, probably a little over hot. Collect, 
And there's that color. Look at that. Crazy, it's the same color. Same pigment. Yeah, you use two different layers. Yeah, that's how it's been for about a week up here, man. It's been crazy. It's springtime in Michigan for you, though. That's how it goes here. Boys are on spring break, so I'm hoping next week we can get some... Uh, fishing in and hopefully we can get some video footage on our channel of catching some fish too so we'll see how it goes this time of year it's kind of iffy you never know but we got some honey holes we know of that we can stop by and check out so hopefully we'll see we got a buddy with a private pond that has nothing in there except for uh um bass and a couple a uh, few handful of bluegill too and man stock pond you're guaranteed you're gonna get something so worst come to worst we'll go there new color that round we'll see how it works it's just the first round we'll see if we like it on the first shot or if we want to change something come out very good Cool. 
course you all know the lighting in here sucks so i'll be getting good pictures of it for you later yep we'll have it everywhere we're gonna stir these up real quick get them in the mic and then we'll see how we did All right, let's see how it looks. Oh, okay, let me leave the middle of the thing. Look at that. Very cool color. Man, I wish the lighting in here was better. Very cool. Very cool, man. Did you guys see it? What'd you think? Everybody watching, what'd you guys think of that color? Here's the other one. Very cool. Thank you, Dirt Bell. I think it turns out pretty cool. It's Threadfin from 8 Bit Bates. I almost wonder if we should go another couple of drops on that top coat. I think I might. Instead of just two, we're going to add three more. But you give it a, a total of five. So we're going to do five on top. Really dark. Kind of uh, dark on that. Sorry, hey, mate. I was looking up my nose there, guys. We're going to really darken that top up a little bit more. I want to see it better. Oh yeah, that's looking good already. So we're doing five drops on the top. Nothing on the bottom. We're not going to change that. Oh yeah, that's a nice rich emerald. Yeah, it's a nice emerald green. Not what I was thinking either. Surprising color. I'm going to go hang these ones up real quick. Hey, 
Thank you, Travis. We're going to do another run. Finish that cup out. This time uh, we added uh, three more drops, so now it's five drops of black for a base. But of course, you don't have to use the black as a base, you can use any color. I think that I think that's gonna really stand it out. Uh, five drops. All right, we're getting them in the uh, vacuum chamber real quick. My measuring spoons. Yeah, I found these on right on Amazon, and these go all the way down to a drop, which is one sixty fourth of a teaspoon, and it actually says a drop right on there and the measurement one sixty fourth, and a dash and a pinch and a smidgen. All that's written right on it too. I don't, I don't know if you pick it up on a camera. It'll come in clearer than that. There, see it? It says a pinch, one sixteenth teaspoon. Yeah, you can find the. I found those right on Amazon. They're like five bucks. I've been using them for years too, ever since uh old Chris Jones's measurement is always a smidgen. I looked up a, a smidgen measuring spoon one time and those came up. Chris All right, here we go for round. Next round. I guess you could say it's round two, but it's actually round one because we just changed the recipe a little. Yeah. Mm. All right. Trying to kill it. You'll catch those. Cut these molds off real quick. Yeah, you can. That's it. That's it. All right. Let's see. This blending block now. That darker. Green on there. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna try fishing under 
Pick up. Yeah. Okay. It's a good spot. Oh, well, it's fish cover. I think we can get another round out of that one. Maybe one more. Yeah, I think that was what we needed, guys, was another couple drops in there. Really dark in the rip We'll give it a minute. You saw, I don't solve nothing. I can't stand using salt. I have no reason to use salt for anything. Wait, see, you usually you use uh, salt for sinking, different sink rate. Just I just upgrade my uh, my terminal tackle if I want to sink a different way. Salt is such a pain to work with. It messes with your colors. It really makes it flat. Your color is real flat, and uh, it bubbles like crazy. It, it always falls it's so heavy it just falls to the bottom of your cup all the time always messing up your injectors and stuff like that you know it salts are such a pain to work with Get this back in the mic for the next round. Yeah. Crack the mold open. Oh yeah, that looks a whole lot better with that extra couple drops. Now you can really see that bottom. Look at that. See that bottom? That top. Look at that. See that siren scales in that? It's Triton siren scales in the belly. Very nice. Look at that. Very nice. Cool. I like that a lot better. It's still weird to me that it's emerald green. Try of salt does suck. What'd you guys think of that color? Did you guys get a good look at it? 
Did you, did you check it out? Looks a lot better, I think, with a couple extra drops. Let me go hang these ones up real quick. Thank you, dirt dog. I think it looks pretty good, cut one. Heck yeah, I think that's a pretty good one, man. I'll get some... What? No. Think about it. I'll get some uh, good pictures of it and show you guys so uh, you guys can really get a good view of that. Oh, that's a pretty awesome color, man. You guys, check that color out. Almost done, almost done. That mold is killer. I love it. And it laminates beautifully. You see the new pintail uh whip wrap they got? That's kind of cool idea. Yeah, they got a pintail mold out. Now they got the new wrap body with the core shot. It means you can take the quarters out, shoot the shell, put them in your rip wrap mold, and have a rip wrap core shot. Yeah. But the pintail bait. So it's a different bait that can alter the rip wrap. Turn it into All right, here we go. We'll do another round of those real quick. Pressure. Top them off. Can you guys see that? That's Yeah, that new pintail looks awesome. And then you can core shot that pintail, take the bodies out, the shells, put them in your riprap, and then have a, a core shot riprap without core shot in your riprap. It's a pretty cool idea they got. That one mold can work for multiple molds. Location of my house. My house is in Eels. 
Next in ocean. Yeah. Sounds like the first of a, in of a first Yeah. And also the village uh flower fields in the Yeah. Sounds like a cool place to go. Yep, the extra drops were the tip, for sure. I can't wait to get good videos of it either. Good pictures of it. You guys are going to love it when I can get a good video. I hate the lighting up here. It sucks. We're pretty much in an edit. So. Yeah, we're for what we got, but... Yeah. But uh, we'll get good pictures of it and stuff. Check it out. We're going to give these a minute to cool down. And then we're going to check them out. See how we did. And um, we might have to uh, get ready to wrap it up so the boys can get their PJs and get ready for bed and stuff like that. Get ready to chill out. So we'll be doing that soon. But we're, first, we're going to check out that bait and see how it goes. So make sure... Uh, Everybody likes, subscribe, shares, all that jazz. And uh, remember, if you guys want to do the member, the paid memberships, we'll be doing giveaways for every single person that's in it. We'll get something. Uh, that's always an option, too. We got a few members. I want to get a couple more. We got three guys in there now. I want to get at least five. And then we'll start. I'll start giving away free baits to everybody. Just for the members only. All right, here's the next round of those. Yeah, very cool. Let's check out the next one, too. Very cool. Very cool. We will. Uh... Oh, oh, oh! What do we got here? What do we got here? Thank you, Aaron, very much, buddy. We very much appreciate you. We're almost there. We'll be doing giveaways on the members only. Thank you so much, buddy. We appreciate you, buddy. I'm gonna hang these up real quick. <laughs> Mm -hmm. all right so let me uh let me uh get here do something real quick here. oops stop doing it all right uh, all right so mm -hmm. the pit the yeah, dude, it's it's awesome. Uh, um, Gary from Alien AI, if you go to the Facebook group, um, he just did a live video of it, and you actually get the pintail mold, right? It's a core shot. So you core shot it, and then you got a regular pintail. Well, if you want, you can core shot it. Now, the body of that pintail mold is the exact same body as the... Um, um, the 3.8 rip wrap body so you can take the body out of the pintail put it into your rip wrap and now you got a core shot rip wrap so the same core shot will work for both the rip wrap and the new pintail mold it's a really cool idea it, it, it does both of them at the same time 
It's really, really cool. All right, guys. Well, we, uh, we're going to get ready to wrap it up here so the boys can get uh, PJs on and get ready for bed. And uh, tomorrow I'll um, make sure we get good pictures of those and so you guys can check them out. I think it's a winner. Uh, check that out. 8-Bit uh, Baits. Um, that one was Threadfin um, powders with uh, siren scales called something. Triton was the siren scales. I'll make sure you check those guys out. And as always, we are using Angling AI molds and always dead on plastisol. And uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, and all that stuff. And uh, thank you all for hanging out with us again for another Saturday night. So, as always, till next time, we appreciate everybody hanging out. And thanks for watching. See you guys outdoors. See y'all later.